When Anna and Kristoff offer to babysit the troll's thoughts, they are expecting to have a nice, relaxing evening. But that's not how it turns out. I wonder if I should have brought games to trolls like kids? Oh, don't worry. They'll probably sleep the whole time. I bet we'll be relaxing by the fire, maybe eating some snacks. When they arrive at the Troll Valley, Bulda, Kristoff's adoptive mother, took Anna and Kristoff to the Troll's thoughts and asked them to take care of the trolls. And it's just about their bedtime, so they should be sleeping soon. Anna waved as the adult trolls headed off. Maybe they are hungry! Mmm, yummy! Maybe they need changing? Nope, let's put them into the bed. They must be tired by now. Suddenly, a cheery voice interrupted them. It was their friend Olaf. Elsa sent them in case they needed help. Anna ran to greet the snowman, but in a hurry, she tripped falling face first into the basket of berries. Anna lifted her head, her face covered in dripping purple goop. The little trolls burst into loud giggles. They stumbled towards her, lapping up the berry juice on her cheek. Well, I guess this is one way to feed them. After the trolls were done, they sat in a heap, happy and full. Olaf happily told the little troll stories about his most favorite thing in the world until they feel sleepy. Actually, maybe Kristoff and Sven would like to sing a lullaby instead. Good thing I brought my guitar. Rockaby troll is in your small pen. to go sleepy for By the time the adult trolls returned, the wee ones were sound asleep, and they were amazed. It was easy. Piece of mud pie. Anna and Gustav looked at each other and smiled. 